how to make an interactive video with adventure.io. So when you go to the page, you see this and you can get started for free right here. Just fill in your information here, submit, and you're going to be logged in. There you go. Then you see this. This is the first page that you see and you can click new project tutorial. And here we go. This is the basic editor that you're going to see. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is click here and upload your media, upload your videos that you want to be using. All right. And once they've uploaded, you can see them right here. So what you do is you just grab one of these. Let's do the intro and drag it over here. There you go. And with the yellow button here, you can see that this is the one that you were going to start on. Then we're going to drag the other ones as well. So let's drag my demo reel. I'm going to be making an interactive resume here. So I've got my intro video here. I've got my demo reel here. I've got an about me section here. And finally, I've got the contacts video here. All right. So how you start working on these is we click this little arrow right here and these turn red. So you can click one of these to connect them like so. You can see that these two are now connected and let's do the same with this. And now this video has two choices, this or this, right? And we can edit the buttons right here, edit overlays. You click that and you can see them over here. But I think what would be better is let's make them a little bigger. I can add the size here like so. And we can change the text over here too. This could just say about me. That would be here. And this one would say work. Let's make them the same size. There we go. Add them around the same area. There we go. Okay. Here we have two buttons. One will take me to my demo reel and one would take me to a section where I talk about myself. Here you can choose which one is the default option. I do want the demo reel to be a default option. So I want the first thing after this video finishes, it automatically goes to my demo reel. That's what I want. So I'll just do that. And here you can choose when do you want these options to start. So let's say I introduce myself in the beginning here so we don't need those. And let's say we want them boom right now. So we would set it here. There we go. And we can test it by clicking preview from here button right there. There we go. And then we click here. The video starts. I introduce myself and then I introduce two of the choices. There we go. You can learn about me or you can click my work right here. You click work and boom, it goes to my demo reel right here. And then what I want these both to go into at the end is let's click here again to my contacts to be able to contact me. Boom. There we go. And from the contact section, what I want to do is add a couple of different ways to contact me. So let's add an email. So you got to scroll all the way down to the bottom here. You got the actions. What else we want? A, an external link to my website. So I'm going to add an, a link to my website there and we can add my phone number for a phone or a text. Well, I don't answer your phone calls. So maybe just a text one here and then we click here again, add all of these three items in it. Boom. There we go. And if this gets a little messy, you can just click right over here, clean up tiles. Boom. It will make it nice and clean for you. So that's a handy little button right there. We can just add the email. There we go. 
and an external link. You can add my website right here, done. And with the SMS, uh, you can add your name, your phone number here, and you have to click that you agree to these rules. Instead of these default buttons, you can actually use your own icons or logos. So what you have to do is upload the images right here. I already have a couple of icons that I use for different projects. So I just open the library right here. I go just the images and here we are. So I can grab the letter for email and let's say this for a phone call. So now when I go back, I should see them right there. Here we go. So what I can do is go back here, choose this email button right here. And instead of text, I can go to image and then I select the image right here. I'll go to the letter one. There we go. Maybe make it a little smaller. There we go. That looks better. And then this is what happens when you hover over that image. And I have one version for that as well. So like so. And the same thing for the SMS. What you can also do here is set the transparency for these buttons so it doesn't have to be fully transparent. We can do like 50% and see what that looks like. And we can preview it right here. There we go. Now you have these different ways of contacting me. You click the website and boom, goes to my website. So that's an external link. Uh, these will work as well. So this will try to send me an email like so. Um, it all works on your phone as well. Let's try this out and see what else we have to do. So let's start this out from the beginning. So we've got these. Let's click work. All right, it, it puts a contact button here. So first of all, what I probably want to do is edit this all the way, probably all the way up here and do the same for this. 50. You want to make sure the buttons are big enough for you to tap them on mobile as well, because they might look pretty big when you um, make it full screen, it looks pretty big. But then again, on mobile, the screen is going to be pretty small. So you want to make sure even with these big fat fingers of mine, you can click the buttons without a problem. One more thing that we could add is a back button to get back to the first video from these videos. So we can actually just add a backlink by just clicking here, clicking that, clicking here, and clicking that. Pop it all the way up there. All right, here we have it. So let's preview this one more time and see. Okay, there we go. We started the video. We can choose between these links. We can click my work. We can go back. We can go back here. We can click here. We can go back to the contacts. And here we got it. Here we got all the contacts. We got my website. We got email. That's as quick as it gets. And I kind of like this visual editor where you can kind of move these around. You can see the paths right here. All you need to do now is just publish it and click publish and you've got a video that you can embed or link somewhere and share it with people on social media and you've got an interactive video. Boom. One more thing that's pretty cool. When you publish your video, you can see this charts here. You can click that and you can actually see how many people have viewed it, how many people clicked it, what the watch rates were. You can see what countries, top devices, you can actually see how people interacted with your video. It's definitely a cool platform. I'm looking forward to a couple of updates for it to make things a little easier, but already we could make this interactive video in a couple of minutes. The platform is called adventure.io. I'll link it down below, check it out, and thank you again. See you next time. Boom.